Okay. Uh, hey guys, one second. I need to get this situated. But uh, give me, give me a second. That's the chat. <laughs> That's actually not the chat. That is something else. Oh. Uh, Discord. I can see chat. I can see chat stuff in it. So I was like, mm-hmm. So give me a second here, guys, as I try to figure this out. Um, I should have made this. <laughs> I should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Anyway, guys, is, was there anything that you guys wanted us to touch upon that we didn't this podcast? Like, if there's something on your mind, uh, video game wise, let us know. Um, I did a little bit of rambly. I should have. I should have stopped much earlier when it came to the Overwatch minute, but I was trying to compose a thought about the idea that. I think the bands are a bit ridiculous. <laughs> That's what I was trying to compose. It just wasn't coming out. So right, right, definitely. Um, I'm man. Which one? Which one? There he is. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at my beautiful, my that... beautiful visage. Why am I? Oh, I'm just all over the place there. Yeah, there you go. are. There you go. Oh, um, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, the unofficial uh, post game uh, layout. I might keep it. Actually, it looks pretty. Yeah, cool. I like it. I like it. It's um it's it's, it's, it's very nice. it, it's very much like the same vein of uh kind of like espn where they have like two sides uh next to each other when they conversate as far as like you know hey my, this is my opinion about something and here's a reaction um yeah i'm gonna put some music on actually so that there won't be too silence in here that's yeah that's a good idea um yeah i mean like the the biggest thing that like everyone's talking about right now and to the gaming sphere is is you know the microtransaction situation the loot box situation it's it's all anybody ever talks about now because of what happened um, uh, it's huge yeah it's it, yeah, yeah no 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 doubt it, like it, it's it's it is it is the biggest thing that has happened not only recently but just as it, it can affect many companies and the game industry at large so absolutely absolutely it's and we're going to see a shift we're going to see a change but you know, other people. I'm not answering that question for that. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, ultimately, things like this are good for the consumer at the end of the day. And much as it pains me to see people, you know, not buy Battlefront 2 because of EA and totally disregard all the people that work at Motive and Dice who put hours and hours and hours into the game really disheartens me like you know you see ea like i followed you know ea star wars a long time ago on social media and whenever they advertise the game i see this thing where um what is that about josh 14 year old video game cheater sued mom defends him no way what's this hang on let me open this up this is from kentucky.com Mom says he's a scapegoat. What is this? Hang on. Let me open this up real quick. Yeah, I'm going to it as well. Last month, Epic took the unusual step of not just banning two Fortnite players from the game for cheating, but taking them to court. It has been revealed that one of the accused is only 14 years old and the mother is not happy. She has addressed the court directly through a letter and which attacks Epic's handling of the case on a number of grounds. Says uh, She says that Fortnite's terms require parental consent for minors and that she never gave this consent. She says that the case is based on a loss of profits but argues that it is a free-to-play video game and that in order to prove a loss, Epic would need to provide a statement clarifying that Rogers cheating directly caused a mass profit loss. She claims that by going after individual players rather than the website selling providing the software, uh, necessary to cheat in an online game epic is using a 14 year old child as a scapegoat she claims that she's not that her son did not as epic allege uh, help create the cheat software by, but simply download it as a, as a user and that epic has no capability of proving any form of modification and finally the mother says that by releasing her son's name publicly in conjunction with the move that Epic has violated Delaware laws related to the release information on minors. Huh. Fascinating. That's what? <laughs> so 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 he did use the software. Yeah, from the from, from understanding. Yeah, from the looks of it. Just kind of hot off the presses. Uh, literally, like. <laughs> 
Uh, was this posted literally right now? Let me check. 8 p.m. Uh, oh, yesterday, 8 p.m. Okay. That was happened yesterday, yeah. but still. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, that's interesting, because, like, if he is using software, then he is cheating, and he deserves a ban. Uh, but as a, as a lawsuit, like, no. Like, there's, that's ridiculous to me. You don't, like, that's over, that's, that's overkill right there. What, isn't there, like, a terms and agreement you, you sign off before you play the game anyways, for most games? Like, the whole, before you install the game or whatever, or before you play it. Yeah. Like, terms and agreement. Yeah, it says right here, it says, Epic has decided to take this Rather than just ban them, after deciding that the modification of the game's code is against Fortnite's user and user license agreement and the Copyright Act, um, they say they because they, there's been some updates towards the bottom. This particular lawsuit arose as a result of the defiant filing a DC, DMCA counterclaim to a takedown notice on a YouTube video that exposed and promoted Fortnite battle royale cheats and exploits. Epic says in a statement given to Kotaku, under these circumstances, the law requires that we file suit or drop the claim. Uh, Epic is not okay with ongoing cheating, copyright infringement of from anyone at any age. As stated previously, we take cheating seriously and will pursue all available options to make sure our games are fun, fair, and competitive for players. That's fascinating. I think, hmm. I do feel like the lawsuit is too much. I yeah. really, really, really do. I think that that's over the top. Uh, but they definitely need to find and sue the the cheat maker. Like, that's absolutely a, fa a thing. Yeah. So, what are Del Delaware's laws against, uh, like, suing minors? I didn't know that was a thing. Hmm. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Um, I, I, what surprised me is the fact that Epic's going through with it. Which is right, Valer's, look, Valer's looking up Delaware laws. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Valer, for being our reporter on the scene. Um, that's nuts. I, wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with Epic in their choice in that at all. Why would they? Why would they go? I'm. I'm just kind of questioning. Why would they go through it? Like, what did they gain from it? Other than uh, you know, she might not be wrong about them using him as a scapegoat. I've, I've heard of companies doing that in the past where, um, <laughs> that's, yeah, it's a fair assessment, Josh. Um, <laughs> he says, I sometimes forget Delaware is a, well, actually, this is why I'm reading it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've, I've known companies to use people as examples. I mean, shit, I was using an example when I was fired from Walmart. Like, yeah. not to use yeah. your cell phone on the floor. So, yeah. I totally see that as like a possibility. Do I think that that's intentional? No, I don't think she's right in the idea that Epic is using him as a scapegoat. Um, but I do feel like I do feel like there was a point where Epic saw an opportunity, or the lawyer saw an opportunity, and just ran with it, not thinking about it. Yeah, because because as as we've stated on the podcast before, they're already like on the edge of their seat ready to you know throw lawsuits out against other companies oh yeah uh primarily blue hole so that's blue hole, the, the company for yeah for those who don't, yeah blue hole makes uh pubg 